Hello and welcome to yet another video here on the YouTube channel STF Wargame Studio. My name is Andreas Norwegian Viking. I'm Wild. And I'm Marius. And today we have episode 97 of the SPG Gang campaign nearing our centennial. So, um, so today we have uh, unleashed the War Beasts. Following up on the devastating charge of the chariots last game, we, uh, we have, um, well, exactly the same two chariots. This time, continuing the rampage, uh, being reinforced by another captain and two more, uh, well, a contingent of 12 yeah. uh, dwarfs. Uh, I get the exact same army, but I get four Gundabad Ogres. Four Gundabad Ogres. And uh, objectives is really simple. I have to kill both chariots and you have to kill all four Ogres. Uh, very straightforward. Yep. With the exception of my Ogres reroll once to wound against your chariots. So, uh, evil. Hmm? Very evil. No, no. Good. Yeah. Just as reroll once, so you need fights, I believe, to win. Don't, doesn't say reroll once to wound, just say reroll once. So they all, I, I have all to, once they roll? I, I may be wishlisting, but I, I think that's what I read. We'll see. It, it'll be fun. Let's check in the scenario rules. <laughs> we'll, we'll check in the scenario rules and we'll show you those scenario rules as well as, um, as the board and the armies after this. Witnessing the devastation of the Iron Hill Dwarfs have wrought upon his ranks of orcs. Azog signals his war beast to see to the destruction of the deadly dwarven war machines. At their master's command, the ogres of Gundabad set off at a shambling run, charging towards the advancing Iron Hill's chariots with naught but venom in their eye and lust for blood. Whipped into a frenzy and shouldering their way through their own ranks, the ogres carelessly trample many of their own allies underfoot in order to fulfill the pale orc's command. As they give voice to bellowing cry, a bloody clash of dwarven forged metal and hideously mutated flesh is unavoidable. The ogres will halt the chariots and massacre the crew or die in the effort. And so begins the battle. This scenario can be found on page 42 and 43 of the There and Back In sourcebook released by Games Workshop. The layout of the board, the scenario takes place on the fields outside the gates of Erebor. The terrain is sparse, containing a few rocky outcrops and some small bushes. Starting positions, the good player places one Iron Hills chariot at the center of the board facing the eastern board edge, C map. The good player sets up the rest of the army anywhere within 12 inches of the western board edge. Finally, the evil player then sets up their army anywhere within 12 inches of the eastern board edge. Objectives. The ogres pose a great threat to the dwarves' most valuable asset. Slaying them would allow for the chariots to inflict even greater losses upon Azok's legions. The good player wins if they can kill all of the ogres in the evil army. The Ogres have been commanded to bring down the Dwarven Chariots, aiming to rip Dane's greatest asset from him. The evil player wins if they can kill both of the Chariots. If both players complete their objectives in the same turn, then the game is a draw. Special Rules We are Legion. Azog's army is so large an increasing number of Orcs flood the battlefield. Any good and bad Orc warrior that is slain may re-enter the battlefield from the eastern board edge in the evil player's next move phase via the rules for the reinforcements found on page 87 of the main rules manual. The evil side cannot be broken in this scenario. Destroy their war machines. 
Azak has commanded the Ogres to seek out and destroy any war machine in the way. The Ogres must reroll two wound rolls of one against the chariots. Participants. Good models. Two Iron Hill Captains. 24 Iron Hills Dwarves with Spear and Shield. And two Iron Hills Chariots. For the evil side, three Gundabad Orc Captains. Four Gundabad Ogres and 36 Gundabad Orc Warriors, 18 with Shield, 18 with Spear. Designer's Note In the film, the Ogres pummel the chariots, destroying them and killing their crew. The good player will have to work, uh, they were cut out for them trying to kill all of the Ogres. It is key for the Dwarves to reach their enemy quickly so that the chariots are not overwhelmed and brought down. The evil player needs to keep their Ogres alive so they can crush the oncoming chariots. By keeping the Ogres behind the Orcs, then charging through them to reach combat, the evil player can effectively choose where the ogres fight, allowing them to not be overwhelmed. And now we will take a look at the board and the armies. So here we have the board. It is a 4x4 four four foot table with the Gunbad ogres leading the charge against a lone Iron Hills chariot. But fear not, there is more Iron Hills coming. They are standing on the slopes. With two captains, one in each warband, and Wiles' chariot as well, is thundering down the small hill yes. over there. So, good start with priority. So, uh, there will be no charges in the first turn. Uh, well, if you move through here, I can charge you, but... I think they will stand still. I think so as well. Uh, so, um, so yeah, we'll come back uh, when we're ready for some shooting and show you where we have moved. Alright, so we have moved the evil forces as well as the Iron Hills uh, infantry has moved up and the chariot on uh, the hill has thundered down. I, I said that was Wild's chariot, it's not. This is Wild's chariot and Wild's chariot will die next turn. So, it has a crossbow or a bolt thrower, we just listened to a bit of bolt thrower. And it has one shot. Who will it shoot at? Um, oh, I should have had six shots and in, into the captain. <laughs> <laughs> Can I reroll the ones? No. You said everyone rerolls once. No, no, I, I misspoke. Uh, the ogres must reroll two wound rolls against the chariots. Ah. Um, mm, yeah, in the captain. In the captain. It it's a, in the wave where it doesn't hit. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So, so the other chariot, what does that shoot at? Normal orc, so. I think it'd have to. Yeah, I don't probably think it to. can shoot at the, uh, the ogres. No, maybe one. Oh, the, the first ogre, yeah. Yeah, you can shoot at that one. But you can see how many shots you get first. Yeah. Yeah, so I get. One, one. shot! Fantastic! <sighs> ogre, off to a great start. Wanna take yeah, why not? Yeah. Ogre, so hits. Hits the ogre. Wounds the ogre on the five? No. No. Okay. Um so that was a very exciting round. Let's go for priority for turn two. Ha! Goes to the orcs. Ha! And what Wild was just measuring is that they've put the uh the dwarf captains on either side of the wall band, which means that the Arnold's chariot is too far out for a heroic move. I didn't deploy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you were saying it's Marius' fault again? Yeah. You, you you blame him for your poor dice rolling, and now you blame him for uh, for deployment. No. You're supposed to be team. We are teamwork. Are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, I guess no heroics for you. No, nope. so because uh, we can then charge in to the ogres, mm -hmm. as if they have the move for that. <laughs> so we'll come back once we have finished the move phase. All right. So uh, after movement, we have uh, four ogres and a heap and load of gundabans um, catching the chariot in the middle of the board, flat-footed. So there's one chariot. That's still about to move, and I miscalculated by a quarter of an inch, which means that it can move into base contact with these two in the front. 
hitting one of them first and killing one and then next one and killing the other big so, time yeah is it not able to no cuz it had it, it moves. could just come to there yeah so it stops there yeah and then it can shoot mhm mm yep so we will get oh six shots, six shots. and we'll shoot orcs so three hits yeah i'm okay. eating fives no no fives what about your chariot while you can shoot at spare sports yep getting four shots off the spare sports hitting one killing it no right combats, combats. so Cheerios. i have fight five with yes. my obvious so i'm you. i'm ahead on fight i have five attacks yep six with a spear support six yes. with a spear support that's <laughs> true you get the six can i get a six to counter I can. So let's see if the ogres can kill the chariot. Just flat out kill the chariot. So it's 12 attacks, needing fives, re rolling once. One, two, three, and four re rolls. I need uh, two more to flat out kill it because five wounds, sorry. Mm -hmm. And I kill the chariot. Mm -hmm. Boom! Get off my lawn. So there's a huge chariot shaped hole in the center of the board. Sorry. And let's see if we can take out this one before all my ogres are killed. So, priority turn three. Oh! Goes to good. Hmm. Call a heroic move with this one. Counter with that one. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. yours. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, you roll, and it goes to good. Damn it. <sighs> so. He'll call with me, and that will take all of these guys. Mm. And they have to move first. No, only him. He has to move first. Only he has to move first. Yeah, and the chariot can move whenever after him. Ah, okay, yeah. Mm. Uh, and they have to end up within six inches of him. Correct, yeah. Um, so I'm thinking if we move him like so. He's not charging anything? No. No? We'll see how far the chariot can get. Well, he has to finish his move. Yeah, but I think yeah. he... he I, I, I th yeah. Yeah, I oh yeah, so, so you he, want to... He, ah, yeah. okay. Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> yeah. right. It's your chariot, so I'm not going <laughs> to dictate what you do, but I think that's smart. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. So, so something the, like... So, you have to start... Um, keep the... Um, the bolt thrower... Underneath the uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, that should get. I should even get the captain there if you want to. Yeah. Uh, right. So first one doesn't <laughs> kill him on the first go, so it stops there. It's still a legal move though. So uh, since you're within six. Okay, and then right. uh, do they cost fair? Uh, cost terror, yeah, obviously. Or cost terror. Mm. Yeah. So we'll come back once both sides have finished their move. That was terrible. Wow. So this is the huge battle line, which uh, was dominated by ogres against one chariot. Now the ogres have uh, cowardly run away because we only need to kill the last chariot before um, until the game ends. So, uh, I've cunningly taken my, uh, my ogres back uh, to the back rank, except the one that was charged. 
and um, the one chariot who failed to kill even one orc on the charge have um, have now been been swarmed by 15 orcs and one captain. So um, you have a shot salvo from the uh, chariot. Yep. Shooting at spears, bots, or ogres. I think we'll try, yeah, maybe spare support for now. Yep, alright, lessening the blow. So we'll get five five shots. shots, not bad, needing four to hit. One hit, and needing five to wound. Oh, no spare support are dead. So, uh, combat phase. Um, did you get priority? Yes, you did. Yep. Uh, I'll call a Heroic strike with his captain. Is it within six of that guy? Nope. I can't call. You could have called the heroic strike with that captain, but. Yeah, if you call the heroic combat there. Yeah, I won't. But he's not in combat, so he can't move. Uh, no. I could have called it either way. I could have. You might have gotten it for free, but. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my heroic actions. Um, shall we take the unimportant fights first? So you have yeah. two dwarves and a captain against two orcs. Did, uh, what, what's up with this guy? Uh, he is called Leroy Jenkins. Uh-huh. Yep. He's Leroy! going to engage the um, elves of camera? Yeah, yeah, the whole elf army by himself. It didn't go well. So we get a six. Um, you get a six. Yeah. Um, so you win. Yeah. Yeah, you're a fight five. So can you kill him? Needing fives. You do. Yeah. One less orc to worry about. Well, he, he'll come back on. Next lot, uh, you have four on Hell Dwarfs. We get a six again. But you also get a six. Same procedure. Can you kill? You can. All right. Next lot. Uh, same number. No, that's only two. But looks fit. Because that's these three, then these four, and now these two, yep. or these two. You can you can choose whether to have this one fight against four or this one fight against four. Oh, he's he's fighting against three, so yep. this one against four and this one against three. Yeah. Yep. Mm. I get it. Three. Oh, and you get three sixes, so that's better than one three. So can you kill? You can. Orcs are going down in a heap of blaze of glory. So I'll shield against the next one. Yep. So that's three. Get a five, you win it on fight. He is trapped. And he's also dead. All the orcs going down. Next up, we have a captain and two Gundabads against this guy. I will shield. Of course you will. Uh, captain in, uh, in green. Get a six with normal guy. Getting a six. You get a six, but uh, we have drawn fight. Yep. So you roll a die to see who wins. And yes. I get the pleasure. So he can move out yep. one inch to there. And he can move out one inch to there. So it's still defense eight. eight. So captain needing sixes. Three rolling ones. He gets him. And then we have the ogre against three guys, uh, and an extra spare support. So that should be four guys. So I have the higher fight. Let's see what you set the bar at. A mighty three. Impressive. We get a four. Win it. Uh, we are strength six. Your defense eight. So uh, it's fives. Um, can only kill the two guys in front, and we get one of them. You get to choose, I didn't prioritize any. And the rest are pushed back. And then we have this orc against three. So the orc will shield. You get a three highest. Oh, I get a cock die. And we get a six and win it. And there's a changing of the guard of who's getting to roll the dice. Um, seems to be a good choice by uh, by Maris to tap in while. 
So we have now two orcs against two iron elves. Wow. Oops. You get a 6-2 in it. And you don't kill. Next up, we have a captain with the space boat against uh, two iron elves. We get a 6 and win it. And can we kill him? Needing a 6. Rerolling once. Point to might. No, won't do that. So that push back. Did, yeah, you, do you want me to take the chariot? <clears throat> yep. Six so, for the chariot charged. So, uh, let's see. You get a 6. Uh, oh, I have to check how far my fight value goes up. It goes up by 3, so I'm higher fight. We have my captain. Gets a 5. And then we have 15 warriors. Let's roll. How many dice? 8 dice. Yeah. Gets a 6. Gets a 6, wins it. So, the captain will strike first. Hitting the crew. Anyway. Both go through. Needing sixes, re-rolling ones, re-rolling ones, and point of might. So he's now out of might. That's one crewman. Three more to go. So we have here ten dice, re-rolling five of them afterwards. Uh, needing sixes. Defense six. Defense seven. Six. Six and dwarfs. Oh yeah, the they way. don't have a shield. In the way. In the way first. So let's pick out that one, that one, and that one, and that one. Needing sixes, re-rolling once. Re-rolling once. No. Oh. And then that was eight, no, that was ten, so let's take five more dice. One gets through, and nothing. Only one crewman goes down. Bit of a fail. And my captain is out of might. And we have one point of might. We okay, have three points of might. Well, two of them are over here. Yeah, true. Alright. So, let's roll priority. Goes to me. Any heroics? Heroic move with the captain. With the captain? Yeah. yeah. I will uh, counter with him. Yeah. Do you have priority? I did. So let's see if I can be lucky and roll one, two, or three. No! So he's done with his movement. The captain? Oh, yeah, because the chariots are just. Yeah. Gone. yeah. <laughs> so. Half an inch. Half an inch. Kills him. Kills that one. So let's just measure how. Yeah. Sorry. It can move. He. It can. It can go just all get the to way him. Up to yeah. Him. All the way up to him. So should be hitting that guy first. Yeah. Kills him. Hitting the captain now. I think I hit. Oh, yeah. Thing. Oh, that one actually. That one first, yeah. Kills. And the. this guy. Kills him. Wow. And then you hit the captain. And you get one wound. I'll take the wound and you'll stop there. Yeah. But that does mean. That my heroic move is cancelled. So you can now move the rest of your movement and we'll come back uh, with. Uh... Did you lose the fight against the ogre? Yeah. <laughs> I only managed to kill one of them though. Um, and he will join the crew, drop his shield and join the crew. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> 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 Oh, 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 oh. You have to engage one of these guys first because he uh, can't get okay. through. <laughs> yeah. Like this. One. There we go. No, he's engaged. Yeah, yeah, but oh, the, okay. the space there yeah. is not too uh, big. 
There we so go. you don't have to engage the captain if you don't want to. Okay. Yep. Mm. <laughs> All right, so we'll come back once the Iron Hills and nope. uh, the Gundabads have finished their move. Yeah. yeah. All right, so the battlefield is looking pretty scary for this chariot. It did get the charge in, but it is engaging um, three ogres and a heap ton of orcs. So, um, on the other side though, the, the captain here is engaged by six orcs. Could be fun. Uh, and he's not in base contact with more than one, so he's only defense eight for now. So, uh, so yeah, um, shall we take the unimportant fights first? Oh, we can shoot that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can shoot a space force. Oh, yeah. So, you're prioritizing him and then going through to them, yeah? Yeah. So, so you get one hit. So, uh, does he die? He does die. That's one less orc to worry about. And then fights. So I have priority. I want to start with our captain there. So I have six orcs. Are you fighting? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I get a five. Point of fight. To win. Yeah. yeah. Good. And can you kill them? Needing fives. You no. can't. Did you get a four or no? You got threes. You could have killed that one on the four. No, he's defense 5, so no, only 5. Uh, then we have these two guys against this dwarf, and he's trapped. So I'll do that. He will shield. Yep. I roll 6. And I win. Let's see if we can kill that one. We do. This one. Yep. And then we have a... Is he engaging him? Or is he spare supporting him? He's spare supporting Okay, so we have a one on one there. Yeah. You win. And don't kill. And then we have a two on one. I will shield. Why not? Six. And you get a six, you win. But you don't kill. Then we have this one against. One with a spare spot. Yep. So you win. He's not trapped though, but you kill him. Alright, then we have the ogre against what looks like three with two spare spots. Yep. So I have the higher fight. Let's see if that prevails. I roll a five heist. You roll a five. I win it on fight. So let's see if we can kill the three, um, three dwarves. Uh, all of these two are engaged, are in base contact. So yep. we'll try to kill this one first. We'll kill him on fives. It's fives anyway. Yeah. So I'll just roll prioritizing him. Yeah. Kills none of them. He's terrible. Are you rolling one? No, only against the chariots. So that was uh, that was horrible. Then we have these two orcs against this one. Yep, I will shoot. Yep, I will not. Rolling a double six. Roll in the tray. That's a house rule. <laughs> so we win and we defense seven, strength three. Yeah, that's sixes. Mm. So we kill him. Then we have a captain against a guy with a spare support. Captain is out of might. Yep. Oh, sorry. In the tray. And, oh, you win. He's backing away. And he's got one wound. Uh, yeah, but he's taken he, one wound at least. Yeah, but he still has a fate. Yep. I didn't use that. So you score a wound on him. And I make it. He's alive. Whoa. And then we have the last fight before the grand finale. Yeah. One on one. Get a two, I get a three, and we don't kill him. Damn it. Okay, so then we have three ogres and a metric ton of box. So, do you want to set the bar since I have a higher fight? You set the bar at mighty four, looking bad for the chariot. 
Oh, the ogres get loads of sixes. So we'll try just to kill the trite itself. I think that's the best way to go about it. Uh, so the ogres re-rolling ones, needing fives, nine dice. Come on. We get two wounds and two possible re-rolls. Well, it's not possible. Uh, it is re-rolls. We get two wounds on it. So two wounds on the chariots? Yeah, three left so far. And then we have one, two, three. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten orcs. And one captain. Uh, the normal orcs need sixes by fours. And the captain needs sixes. All re-rolling once. There's tons of sixes in there. That's loads of sixes. Re-rolling these two once. One more six. That's seven sixes. So that's one wound from the captain, though. Yep. So it's two left. Yeah, and we four. need two four pluses. Yeah, two left. Two four pluses. Ah, and we just get it. And that's the game. Thank you. Yeah. Revenge from last time. So yeah, that was our game of chariot hunting. Let's do our analysis in the post battle batter breakdown. So welcome to the post battle batter breakdown. That was uh, slaughter. Apparently, um, ogres are better than trolls. <laughs> Good. Or deploying chariots in front of the line is stupid. Yeah, you didn't deploy that. That had to be. That was a yeah, I know. specific. Yeah, I know. But it's a, it's a stupid plan to put it in the middle of the table. Yeah. <laughs> Could you have backed it away? Can it move backwards? You would need to spend two turns for it mm. to pivot. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so you have a 45 degree pivot, then move four inches, then you have another 45 degree pivot. Well, you can, pivot. you can forego your movement and just turn in any direction. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we could have gotten away. Mm, no, uh, ish. Not, <laughs> not. I could still have got the jump on it. Yeah, and or you, if we have a captain in the middle. Yeah, yeah, if you had a captain in the middle. Because that's the, the, the point that the, um, the captain was... The captains were placed so that they they didn't get to six inches for the middle chariot, yeah. so they couldn't call a heroic move, uh, which meant that I got priority and I just charged into it um, with everything I got. Yeah. Uh, fantastic stuff. Four ogres. Four ogres. Smash. Uh, got it on the last attack though. Yeah. Well, I didn't roll with the yeah roll with the orcs. Yeah. yeah. You got lucky on the rolls on the, the last one. Yeah. With all the sixes. Mm. You need yeah. sixes by fours, so yeah, it's just quite a high... Wah, loads uh, of sixes. Yeah, low chance so of success. So, could have been one more turn. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I think this game was cool. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess to show off the chariots, got to show off the ogres, uh, more importantly. So, because um, we've already seen the destructive power of the chariots last game. So, uh, so yeah, um, the campaign is going 50-50 uh, going so far. Um, <laughs> For the for the orcs and the dwarfs. So uh, let's see next week where we'll not see any dwarfs. We will see Bard mm. um, trying to make his way into Dale. Uh, between him and Dale is a pile of orcs. So they have to fight their way through. Any trolls? Uh, don't know. I, there might be a catapult troll. Mm. Interesting. So that's great. Um, so, uh, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll see each other next week. Until then, I have been Andreas Norwegian Viking. I'm Wild. And I'm Marius. And uh, this was episode 97 of the Esprit du Grand campaign. Uh, please uh, comment, like, share and subscribe. And please consider supporting us on Patreon. And if you already do, thank you very, very much. And uh, you'll find the link in the description below. And as always, support your hobby. <laughs>